once again welcome to Mimo's Crafts today I'm going to show you how to crochet this tote bag here it's a beautiful tote bag nice and simple and if you're a beginner this one is for you it is very simple to crochet and we're just going to be crocheting using double crochet throughout so I'll show you step by step how to crochet this bag so let's begin so for this bag you're going to need my cream I used about 220 meters of this my cream cord and it is about three millimeters thick you can use any other type of yarn that you have it is still fine i also used a crochet book size six millimeters and then you also need four stitch markers if you don't have this it's still fine you can use just short pieces of yarn okay uh, you're also going to need scissors okay so let's begin so i'm going to begin with a slip knot So this is my slip knot so I'm going to do a chain of 28 okay so for me to do my chain just hold your yarn in hook the way you feel comfortable so you just grab your yarn okay grab your yarn and then pull it through so this is chain number one okay again grab your yarn pull it through that's chain number two three four five six seven eight nine so i'm just going to continue uh up until i have 28 chains so now i have a chain of 28 this one so now we want to crochet double crochet okay so if you are starting with double crochet you skip the first two two chains here this one and this one these are for turning purposes so that we maintain straight edges when crocheting okay so these two are not going to count we're going to insert a hook in the third here so with double crochet in your stems you yarn over once yarn over once okay and then insert in the in the chain grab your yarn and then put pull, pull through so now i have three loops yarn over and then pull through the first two loops yarn over again pull through the next two loops so this is my first double crochet and this is my chain so we move on to the next yarn over insert Grab your yarn, pull through, I have three loops here, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again, pull through the next two loops. Okay, so this is how we do double crochet, okay? Yarn over, insert, pull through, yarn over first two loops, yarn over the next two loops. Okay, so this is my double crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to continue. With my double crochet like that okay okay so I'm just going to continue down the chain and let's meet in the last chain this one okay so here i've done my double crochets and this is the last chain okay so what we want to do is we want to crochet it so that we we turn and also start crocheting this other side so what we're going to do here is instead of putting one double crochet in this one we're going to put five okay so the five the extra four are going to cater for the for the the, the length that we're going to cover is we turn and then start crocheting the side okay so i'm going to put five so this is one in the same chain okay one again in the same chain two 
two. Okay. Again, in the same chain, as you can see, we'll be curving and turning. So this is three. Okay. Again, in the same chain. Four. Okay. Again, in the same chain. Five. Okay, so you can see we have created this curve. Okay, we have created this curve here. Okay, so now we are turning our work. And we now want to insert our hook at the back of the chains. Okay, remember we're inserting this side, okay, through these holes. We want to insert through the same holes but at the back side here. So this is just a tail. I'm just going to crochet it uh, and hide it inside. It doesn't matter. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert in the back of this chain. Okay. This one. Grab my yarn and do our double crochets. Okay. Like that. Okay. Let me do another one. Yarn over through this hole, okay. And double crochet there, like this, okay. So again, at the back of the chain. So we're doing this so that. We, create, we start crocheting in the round instead of rows, okay? Again, in the next. Okay, like this. So this is just going to be a, the base of our bag. It's just going to be a mini base, okay? Like this. Okay, so I'm just going to continue inserting my hook through these holes at the back of the chains. Okay, let's meet here when we are left with this last one. Okay, okay, so here I have crocheted right round. So I'm now left with this one, this last hole here. Okay, so what we're going to do in this one is we're going to put four double crochets okay this one here we put five okay but this one we're going to put four because we are also assuming that this first ch two chains here are also inside this hole so we're going to put four okay so i'm going to put four double crochets in this last chain okay so that's one like that another one Two, another one, three, as you can see the gap is closing, okay, and the last one, four, okay, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to join this last stitch here to the first here, with a slip stitch okay so this is the chain that we did but this one okay we're going to insert our hook through here okay and join with a slip stitch like that okay so this is the base of our bag okay so this is the base of our bag Okay, so now what we want is we're going to increase the height. We want to work the sides going up. So we're no longer going to put um, increase the number of stitches. We're going to maintain the number of stitches that we have right now. Okay, so now here at the first here, because we're using double crochet, 
we begin each round with a chain of three some some other crocheters use a chain of two but because of this cord that i'm using i'm just going to use a chain of three okay so i begin with one two and three okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put a double crochet in this first stitch here but we're going to be crocheting in the back loop okay so we have this front loop here and we have this back loop okay so we normally insert our hook below here but we're not going to do that we have this front and we have this back so i'm going to insert through here okay and do a double crochet like that so in the next stitch yarn over so we have this front this one and this one so i'm going to insert here okay and do like that again in the back loop okay again in the back loop like that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue putting one double crochet in each stitch okay and let's meet here let's meet here and then we'll continue okay so i've pushed it here so now i'm at this curve so at this curve we're just going to continue with one single crochet one double crochet in each stitch okay one there one in that stitch okay one again in that stitch one again okay you can see that these sides are starting to build as we crochet okay so it's just one double crochet in each stitch okay Okay, so I'm just going to fold this. Okay, so I'm just going to continue the side and let's meet towards the end here. Okay, welcome back. So I've just created right round. So I'm now towards the end of our second round. And you can see here, it seems as if we're left with two stitches, this one and this one. But this one is the slip stitch. This one is not a stitch, is the slip stitch that, that we used to join the last and the first. So we do not crochet into this stitch, okay? So my last stitch is this one. So I'm going to put a double crochet in there. Okay, so I'm just going to fold and work so that, like that. So, this one is not a stitch, okay? So this is the chain three that we did at first, okay? We're going to maintain and keep on doing this whenever we begin the round, okay? And this is our first double crochet. So what I'm going to do is, in this chain, there's one, two, three. So in this one, I'm going to insert my hook, grab my yarn, and then do a slip stitch, okay? Now we've joined, our round is complete. So here, I'm going to do a chain of three again to replace this one. Okay, so that's one, two, and three. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is, in this next stitch, not this one, but this one, the first one, I put my single crochet double crochet sorry like that okay and then i continue into the next stitches putting one double crochet in each stitch okay like that into the next one double crochet like that 
one double crochet in each stitch okay Okay, like that so I'm just going to continue right round okay like this and let's meet towards the end here welcome back so I've crocheted right round okay so we have one two three rows okay so this is the other side and this is the other side okay round sorry not rows so now we are here again okay so we try to make sure that these don't open up now here again just as we did previously here this is a stitch um, okay and this is the slip stitch this is a double crochet stitch and this is a slip stitch so we do not crochet into this one but rather in this one okay so I'm going to put a double crochet in there. Okay. And then this is our chain. So one, two, three in the third one here. I'm going to insert my hook and do a slip stitch like this. Okay. So this is our third round and it's done. Okay. So from this third round up until we are in the round in the twelfth round we're going to repeat what we did with the third round okay so we're just going to continue with beginning with a chain of three one two three and then in the next stitch we put double crochet okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to crochet from round four up until round 12 repeating what we did with this round okay so let's, let's repeat round three up until round 12 and then come back welcome back so this is how my back now looks like so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve rounds okay so now uh, we just left with two rounds to do but in those two rounds we want to put the handles okay so you decide where you want to put your handles you want them to be here or you want them to be far apart it depends okay so here what we're just going to do is we're going to need our stitch markers okay the four stitch markers the those ones so what we're going to do is we're just going to count starting from this one okay so we're going to put our stitch markers in stitch number seven the first one so it's one two three four five six seven i'm going to put a stitch marker in there like that and the next one we're going to put it in stitch number 23 so from here seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three this one that okay then from here we're going to continue again and put another one in stitch number 36 so one sorry 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 34 35 36 that's one okay and then we're going to put another one in stitch number 52 Okay, so this is 36, 37, 38, 9, 4, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4, 4, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 50, 51, and 52. Okay. Okay. So I'll just repeat again. So here we have stitch markers in stitch number 7, 23, 36, and 52. Okay, so 7, 23, 36, and 52. So now let's continue crocheting 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue with the same pattern that we we're doing. Okay. Um, chain three, two, three. Double crochet in the next. Okay. In the following. Okay, so we're just going to continue up until we reach the first stitch marker. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put a double crochet in the stitch marker here. The stitch with the stitch marker and then I'm just going to remove it like that okay so from here we're going to do a chain for our handle um if you want a longer chain just put a longer chain but me I just want to put a longer chain since this is a tote bag so I'm going to chain 50 okay from here so that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven now. So I'm just going to continue and come back with a chain of 50. Okay, so now I have a chain of 50, this one. So what I'm going to do is in this next stitch marker here, I'm going to skip these stitches here. These are 15 stitches. I'm going to skip this. And then I'm going to join here into this one. Okay, so we're going to join with a double crochet in the back loop. Okay, like that. Okay, so I'll continue with my double crochets in the next day, next chain, next stitches. Okay. Up until I'm at the next stitch marker. Okay. So I'm now at the next stitch mark. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do what we did at the other handle. So I'm just going to remove the stitch marker and then put a double crochet in there. And then I'm going to chain 50. One, two, three, four. So I'm just going to continue and come back with a chain of 50. Okay, so here you now join into the stitch with the stitch marker. Okay, and over. Then that's it. And then continue with double crochet. Okay, so now I'm left with one stitch, this one, this is a slip stitch, so I'm just going to do into this one, and I'm going to join one, two, three here, just as we are doing before, like that. Okay, so this is our handle so far. Okay. 
Okay, so this is our bag. Okay, so now we want our handle to be a bit more firm. So we want to crochet one more round of double crochet. And we're also going to crochet um, double crochet on these chains, okay? So here, yeah. and chain three. One, two, three. And then double crochet into the next chains. okay so we are now at the chain at the beginning of the chain yeah so instead of inserting our hook here we're going to chain our chain okay so this is our chain so we're going to turn it okay and then we're going to insert our hook at the, through the back bumps okay insert it through these back bumps here okay and do double crochet okay so this is the first bump here the back bump of the chain and i'm just going to do double crochet the next bump this one next double crochet and the next bump okay this one's okay so that it comes out like this so I'm just going to continue okay inserting through the back bumps okay right round in the back bumps and then when you reach here you continue in the back loop okay and then here you continue again in the back bumps and then let's meet back here welcome back so i've just finished doing double crochet throughout and these are my handles okay so now here at the end here i'm just going to join with a slip knot like that okay so since we are done i'm just going to cut this piece okay so we're just going to fasten this off okay so you just fashion fasten um this and whichever way you feel comfortable with okay just make sure that it doesn't unravel okay so just continue doing this later on so let me adjust the camera so this is our bag and this is the top part, the simple tote bag. And this is the bottom part. Okay. And then the inside. Okay. Um so this is our bag and it's done if you have any questions comments please do comment below i'll be happy to respond thank you for watching me my please do subscribe for more videos also like 
and share. Thank you.